actually cut the ribbon and let everybody uh, explore and stay forever. But that's the plan. And um, I just wanted to, to thank um, everyone who was involved in making this happen. I mean, obviously, first and foremost, um, Niall and Mary for, for the impetus and, and, and the generosity to, to push it into existence um, from what was an idea. Uh, but the, the science teachers who, who walked out here with, uh, with Dan Gallagher, who is the designer, uh, to talk about some of the features and ways that we could really make this a great learning space. Um, to Wendy Furry, who, who has uh, consulted with us this year. Um, it's, it's been a team effort all the way along, and, uh, and it's, I'm, I've been so looking forward to this day. Even though everyone's jumped the gun and everyone's been down into the space, um, I had a meeting down here the other day. It's just so beautiful. So um, I, before we cut the ribbon, I wanted to, to do something academic, you know, being the head of school. So I, I, I reached for a poem, and uh, I thought I would share it. It's brief. Don't worry, so great. so sweet as that veil in whose bosom the bright water flow. Oh, the last rays of feeling and life must depart ere the bloom of that valley shall fade from my heart. Yet it was not that nature that shed o'er the scene her purest of crystal and brightest of green. T'was not her soft magic of streamlet or hill. Oh no, it was something more exquisite still. Was that friends, the beloved of my bosom, were near, who made every dear scene of enchantment more dear, and who felt the best charms of nature improve when we see them reflected from looks that we love. Sweet veil of Avoca, how calm could I rest in thy bosom of shade with the friends I love best, where the storms that we feel in this cold world should cease and our hearts, like thy waters, be mingled in peace. Welcome. So let's cut, let's cut. The honor is yours. Mm -hmm. well, one more thing. It's always working for this boy. You gotta work, you gotta work.